In my building, we did hallway decorations and decorated our doors and things like that based on Christmas movie themes. And I went a little rogue and picked my own and went with the Muppet Christmas Carol, which is great. But the problem is every time I look across the library, I see this. I hung an Ebenezer Scrooge up in the window and now every time I look in the library or I look up and I look across the library, I startle myself. I scare everyone coming out of the office. The children's heads whip by as they walk past. I love it. I think it's hysterical, but it freaks me out every time I see it. All right, the bread is in the oven, and honestly, I get some really good light in my kitchen, and we still have some light because it is about 3 o'clock where I live, and that means that in the next, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour, it's going to start getting dark. We're going to start losing some light, and so I'm just going to show off some stuff. Um, I thought I'd talk about my latest stash acquisition. I would talk about some of my favorite makes from this year. And we'll start with what I got in the mail recently. I did the Farmer's Daughter Fibers Sock Squad for 2023. And so this is their December colorway. So it's my final colorway for this Sock Squad cycle. I don't think I'm going to do it again. Um, I don't know. I've done a couple of yarn clubs. And there's some that I really like. Some that I'm not crazy about. Kind of like that chunk of hair right there. Um, and I don't actually enjoy knitting socks all that much. So I have a ton of fingering weight sock yarn that I'm going to have to figure out what to do with. Or I'm going to have to find a sock pattern that doesn't make me want to poke myself in the eye. I don't know. But this is called Anna's Hummingbird. And it is on the Highwood Sock Face. So that's an 80-20 blend. 80% um, merino, 20% nylon. And it comes with an 80 yard or 20 gram mini. I really love the mini. Here is the mini. I think this is fun. And I actually think it kind of goes with some of my advent stuff that I've been getting this year. Um, and then the sock yarn is... This one I really like. It's really pretty. I think I can find something to do with this. Um, my mom likes the color purple. Maybe I'll knit her like a Sophie scarf or something. I don't know, but I can figure something out to do with this. All right, so let's talk some of the things I made this year. Um, I am not a sock knitter, but I do love to knit a sweater. And so the first sweater I knit this year was the Illuminate sweater by Andrea Mowry. It was the Rhinebeck sweater a few years ago. Um, and I love it so much. I did alter the pattern a little bit and gave it short sleeves instead of the long sleeves, partly because I got tired of knitting it. Um, and I also just kind of wanted a sweater with some short sleeves that I could wear more than just November end of November, December to February. Um, so I think this will carry me into spring as well. And it is knit in spin cycle, space oddity, and then the fuzzy like halo yarn is stress knits yarn. Um, and it is actually, I think, the alpaca base instead of the mohair base. Um, and it is Mountain Mama, which if you see it on regular yarn on not like a fuzzy base, it is more of a green, but it turned out into like, it turned into this really beautiful kind of like bluish greeny gray situation with the space oddity that I just really, really love. It's so soft. It's so cozy and it fits really, really well. And I love it so much. So that is sweater number one. 
The other sweater that I knit this year, I just finished. And it is also an Andrea, Ma Andrea Mowry pattern. It is the DRK Everyday Sweater. And it hasn't been blocked yet, but I have worn it a couple of times because I love it so much. Um, and it is knit in Jagger Spun, the Green Line, Colorway Twig. I love this sweater. It's going to make a great layering piece. Um, and I kind of intend to treat it just like a sweatshirt and just kind of throw it on over anything if I'm feeling a little chilly. And I think it's fabulous. All right, the next finished object I have to share with you is something I saw a lot of people knitting, and I really like it. I haven't worn it outside when it's been cold yet, but there have been a couple of nights that I've just popped it on while taking Henry outside right at the end of the evening before we go to bed. And it is the Saturday Shrug by Jackie Rose of Caddy Jack's Knits. And I knit mine out of Studio Donegal, Donegal Wool Spinning Company, held with Mag Magpie Fibers plume which is the yellow color and then um i also held it with talkie yarns donegal tweed in mushroom which is kind of this grayish brownish situation i didn't hold anything double with the t mushroom the tweedy color um i kind of wish that i had but that's okay i really like this and i will probably knit more i also have the i think it's the friday shrug the one where you do like the 12 colors and you kind of fade color change that is in my queue i have that pattern saved in my library to knit um but i really like this and i know it's going to get a lot of wear this winter all right my next finished object for the year is the sophie scarf by petite knit and I knit this out of my Farmer's Daughter Fibers Sock Squad Color Bitterroot. I just split the skein in half and held it double. And it's this really pretty pink color. I finished it, I don't know, this summer. I live in Missouri. It's really hot in the summer. So I haven't had a chance to wear it yet. But I think it'll get somewhere this winter. So I have also knit a couple of these hats. I'll just show you one. This is the Montaigne hat by Whitney Hayward. And I knit it out of like super deep stash. I have had this yarn so long, I couldn't tell you where I got it, who made it, what it is made of. Um, but I was afraid I was going to run out because I used it to knit a knitting badge neckerchief a while back. And so I, when I got into the body of the hat, I kind of did this little like micro striping situation with um, the petite wool in pearl gray, I think is the colorway, um, which is a color that I used to knit a sweater with forever ago. 